Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about what triple extension is and how we can use it in powerlifting to produce the most power and force in our lifts. Triple extension is basically a way for us to create force. The best way to, I guess, describe this or visualize this the best way is to be able to look at how we jump. If we jump through our toes, we're going to be able to produce a lot of force, be able to create force, drive into the ground and jump up. If we try to jump through our heels, it's going to be very, very difficult for us to be able to create the same amount of force to drive up as so. So if we talk about the squat specifically, there's a few things we can see in someone's squat if they're not able to push through the toes. So if I jump under the bar here, and I walk it out and I start to go through a few of my reps, if we ever see someone start to come out of the hole and their knees are heavily diving together, or it looks like they're really far back on their heels, they almost start to good morning it. It's a sign that the body is having some difficulty pushing through the ground. So what we wanna try and do with our squat or our squat technique or our squat accessories, is start to put us in a position where it's very easy for us to drift forward onto our toes like so. And then it becomes like an elevator motion. We find our big toe position where there's a lot of pressure pushing through the ground and we just move down and up in that pattern. And we can use our accessories to make it easier for you to get like into our depth or our competition depth just by training our hinge deeper and stronger. So similar to what Tom was saying with the squat, we also need triple extension when we're trying to produce force when we're deadlifting. A lot of the time what we'll find is if someone doesn't have a lot of triple extension or ability to push through the ground when they're trying to deadlift, what we'll find is that two compensations or signs or symptoms will pop up. Number one is if they're a conventional puller, they'll start to jackhammer the bar where they're starting to look, I guess, a little bit like getting to a certain point in their deadlift and they'll start having the shakes. Um, number two, with a sumo deadlift puller, we'll typically find in their position there that they'll rock back or start to fall backwards and lose their foot positioning uh, quite a lot. So from the bottom of the bar, they'll be falling backwards, I guess, a little bit when they're trying to lift. A way that we can, I guess, focus on trying to create more triple extension through the deadlift, especially from the ground, is trying to stay over the bar a little bit more and trying to keep more of the weight through the front of the foot. So that way, I guess, for a sumo deadlifter, what you'd look at doing is starting over the bar a little bit more. So that way it's almost like you're, in a sense, falling forwards, but in a manner that you're not actually going to fall forwards. So from this bottom position here, we can see that as I am, I guess, more forward on the front of my foot, I'm not falling backwards and I'm staying quite over the midfoot in that position there. So I guess to be able to train getting forward or training more of this triple extension pattern that we're after for powerlifting, there's two accessories that we're gonna go through today that are gonna really help and provide a lot of benefit uh, to, to I guess creating triple extension. The first one that we are going to go through is something that's going to be actually getting us more forwards, whereas the second exercise or the second accessory movement is going to be more about building muscle mass that is going to get us into that position a little bit easier. Um, so with the first one, we're going to do an RDL with the toes elevated. I guess the focus for this one here is to make sure that when we are elevating the forefoot, that it is just sort of the forefoot, not so much the whole foot. Um, the goal of this is to try to keep the weight forward, like Tom was saying with the squat, where we wanna have that lean forward. So I like to think of Michael Jackson in Smooth Criminal when we're doing this one, so having that lean forward there. And then all we wanna think about doing is more or less getting the bar or the weight that we're using when we're doing the Romanian deadlift down towards our toes. So not so much thinking about sitting our hips backwards, but more thinking about, I guess, getting the bar down to our toes or reaching our foreheads to the wall in front. So what it should look like is going down, reaching forwards, feeling that weight through the front of my foot, like I'm gonna fall forward and then coming back up. Compared to what everyone usually does, whereas we're sitting backwards on the heels, no weight, I can wiggle my toes, okay? So secondary to the RDL, we also have something like the 45 Hyper, or if you don't have that, a GHR will also work. So the whole point of this exercise is this won't actually help you feel what it feels like to stay over your toes and hip flexion, but it will build a lot of the musculature that helps us stay on our toes, specifically our lower erectors, or our very lower lumbar spine kind of muscles in that area there. So the big thing we want to do with the 45 Hyper or the GHR is we want to try and make this motion a pushing motion. Rather than trying to pull ourselves up with our glutes and hamstrings, we want to try and push ourselves into extension through our toes. 
So what that would look like is if I jump on the 45 here, I want to try and hold a little bit of lumbar extension as I move through. And this will range depending on how much flexibility or mobility you have. But then as I come back up through the motion, rather than trying to pull and squeeze my glutes and hamstrings too hard, I want to try and push down through my toes as hard as I can. So it's gonna look more like a push. Lots of quads, lots of lower back, lots of glutes, little bit of hamstring at the top. Try adding these accessories into your program to help create a little bit more triple extension to help increase your squat and deadlift.